Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Supergazi William. And today, oh my gosh, it's such a mess behind me. But um, yeah, today I'm starting a new vlog. And I don't know if it's going to be a weekly vlog. Because like, it's Friday. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's a Friday and yeah. But I think I'm going to be doing some things this weekend. Maybe, maybe not. But right now, um, I'm ready and I'm about to go to... Quinn Rock uh, wine farm. I don't know if it's a wine farm, whatever it is, but like, yeah, it's a wine place in Stellenbosch. And I've I've been to like wine farms and like gone wine tasting in Constantia, and I've gone to Durbanville, like different ones in Durbanville. Um, but I've never been to Stellenbosch only because I've been scared of Steelys because like I grew up in Cape Town, so I know what the energy in Steelys is, but. Yeah, today I'm going to go to Quinn Rock. It looks really beautiful. And even goes there and all that stuff. So it's not that I was like drawn to it because of that. But um, yeah, I'm going to go and all that. I'm going to try and show you guys my outfit once I'm there. But I won't be vlogging as much when I'm there. Because like my new approach is to just enjoy things and happen to take videos and footage of what I'm doing. But not to center everything that I'm doing around my vlogging. Um yeah if that changes obviously I'll, I'll let you guys know but for now that's just the style that i'm on that's why a lot of my vlogs lately have a lot more like montages like music and clips rather than me talking and things like that and also some of you don't like me talking anyway so yeah this might make up look though it looks real cute anyway the uber's probably outside so i need to get going <laughs> I just prefer to break the bread with your hands for my all the flavors came with the wine. You get it nice because I don't like it. Oh, okay. thank you.
Majority here Sauvignon Blanc, uh, around about 92%. And the balance is Semillon. Uh, beautiful, sort of fresh, I'd say kiwi. Uh, bit of asparagus. Um, lovely green pepper to the finish. And nice, warm, sunny day, such as today. If you're looking for something but nice and light, uh, this is definitely one of those ones. Enjoy. Thank you. And our first starter is the vegetarian option. Okay. And the vegetarian option is the minestrone. It is actually the chef interpretation of the Italian minestrone soup. So with the Italian minestrone soup, uh, the chef has made a vegetable terrine. For the vegetable, vegetable terrine, it is a layer of potato, butternut, carrot, and courgette. Okay. And then the deep fried to the texture. And it's topped up with a sandra tomato milk gel, a parmesan milk gel, and of course with a celery soup and toasted garlic, amaranth leaf, calendula leaf, and a corn flour leaf. And to bring the pasta element, we have the minestrone fruit. We serve the tarim with a deep fried tag at the end. Okay. And to finish with that, I'll be pouring the, uh, the consomme, which is a clear broth, made out of celery, leek, and tomato accent uh, cardamom, and star anise. Very, very tasty and very refreshing as well. Yeah. And it does pair very well with your uh, white legs. Oh, okay. Chardonnay, uh, 2019 vintage. Uh, beautiful citrus on the nose. Palette, a little bit of butter, squash, vanilla. Uh, uh, the little palette. The back of the palette. Enjoy. Thank you. It smells. It smells. Um, it smells like old. The cheek, the cheek. It's old and old. It's old and old. It's old and old. That's what it smells like. Red now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, finally. Uh, yeah. Our red is a 2016 vintage um, Queen Rock uh, Red Blend. So you have 85% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and 15% uh, Cabernet Frank and 5% Merlot. Yeah. Very, very elegant. Next up the range is the Shiraz, uh, 2016 vintage as well. Beautiful brine, uh, black peppers coming from the nose, palette, bit of that mocha, coffee, chocolate uh, as well. And you the balance between the To bring it, which is the wrong front, that's the this one. Enjoy. Thank
it's 100% sunny blanket, blanket, dry fruit, your mangoes, apricots, uh, a bit of raisins coming in. This typically one that you can enjoy with uh, a dessert or can be enjoyed as a dessert. Enjoy. Thank you. Uh, beer and honey gel, uh, nectarine wedges, and nectarines in the big compression, beer and honey. More of a uh, bit of fruit, but much more sour. That complements actually the sweetness that comes from your uh, sweet dessert. Enjoy. Okay, so it is the next day and just got done at the spa. I'm trying to find the sun for you guys so I can actually look decent. Anyway, um, better. Okay, yeah, so just got done at the spa. Had a hot stone massage. Really enjoyed that. Feel like sleeping now, which is like great. Um, I'm a bit exhausted. I wouldn't say it's from yesterday. But I did have quite a bit of wine yesterday. And then um, when we got back, I also had like Hennessy, Hennessy and Jaeger. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a bit exhausted. I think we're gonna go get food now, or at least I'm gonna go eat. We're gonna see if like there is a restaurant at the hotel. So we actually at the Victoria, Queen Victoria Hotel, and they have like the sanctuary spa which is where we came and had massages. Usually we go to Table Bay, um, 
but decided to switch it up today and that's what we're doing um i'll just show you guys what i can i'm so out of it and also my edges are gone because like you know when you lay in the thing um yeah but touched about that but it's rot it's rot and rot Two days later, um, it's a Tuesday. I'm actually at ProSnet. We're going to get some stuff printed because I need to get some work done. Um, I was planning on going to Starbucks originally, but I probably won't be doing that today. Um, I just wanted to update you guys before I just randomly carry the vlog on and all that stuff. I just got a pair of um, Air Jordans. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't even show you them right now, but like, yay, I got a pair of Air Jordans. Yay. I'm so excited. 23s. First ones ever in my life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, so it is the next day um i really didn't get to vlog much yesterday just to update you guys about the shoes i'm here to end off this vlog and i am gonna show you guys the shoes i'm gonna unbox them for you um i've already taken so many things off my bed so don't mind there being no like proper blanket on top um but yeah i'm gonna unbox the shoes for you guys Okay, so this is the box, um, and I obviously got them in a UK size 3, because I'm a size 3, so yeah, that's another reason why, like, we actually went to source these at court order, because I'm a size 3, so a lot of places don't sell my shoe size, and that's the price, um, they're quite pricey, but they have really cute detail, detailing, like, on the packaging, like, look at this, love, love, love never thought i'd be an owner of these um so yeah i'm pretty excited <laughs> how beautiful omg so this is what they look like 
I'm sure you guys have seen a Jordans before. I'm just excited because like I'm not usually a sneaker person and on my own and on my own I would have never like bought sneakers so it's really cool these are the ones that i really liked um yeah they're very beautiful and the color is just amazing but this sign is what really has me this air jordan sign i usually see it like on tiktok when people customize their air jordans or something and i'm like that looks so cool i want i want that like but never thought i'd actually get it you know what i mean but um yeah these are my new sneaks I really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it was just like clips and things like that but like i said i am trying the approach of when i'm doing something i happen to take a video of it and i don't do things just specifically to vlog so that i don't put pressure on myself and that i can just like breathe you know what i mean and all of that so yeah if you enjoyed this vlog please give it a thumbs up and comment down below which part you enjoyed also do you have air jordans like are you guys sneaker girls or are you guys heel girls because you know me i love a good heel and i if, if if i have a chance to buy shoes it's always heels and never sneakers so yeah let me know down below and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye